We are going to have open sexual intercourse on every street corner of America. Hello, Demon here with day five, day five of the 12 days of Sodom, and today's day is Korea. Now, I've said this once and I'll say it again. I have not seen a Korean movie that was bad. I've never seen a bad Korean movie. Something about them, man, they just, they're just well made. Well, I didn't really like that Tale of Two Sisters movie too much, but that was one of those cases where I was like, I don't really like it, but I can see why someone else would. Anyway, I think the deal is because uh, they don't put out as many movies, so like, just getting your project greenlit is impressive in itself, let alone making a great movie like Old Boy or I Saw the Devil or something like that. But those are my picks for uh, the most fucked up dump in Korea. That award goes to The Butcher, which for a time was uh, available for the Netflix instant stream. I don't know if it still is, but if it is, you need to check it out. It's pretty brutal. Uh, basically, it's just a uh, first-person point of view torture porn. Like, the victims have these helmets on with cameras on the top, so you see it from their perspective. Which is neat and all, you know, the cinematography gets a little shaky and you get a little nauseous, but, uh... It seemed kind of like a gimmick up until one point where it was used a little too well, if you ask me. Uh, this guy's getting tortured and, uh, he makes a deal with his captors that if he can take ten minutes of torture without saying anything, they'll let him and his wife go. And, uh, so they agree to it and, uh... The main guy doing the torture is this big guy in a pig mask with an apron. Scary, right? So he takes a hammer and starts smacking the shit out of the guy. And uh, the other people are like, whoa, slow down, you're going to kill him before the 10 minutes is up. And so he's like, alright. And you see him pull his apron up and kind of put it on the other guy's left. And you're like, what's he doing? And then you see from first person his slash your legs go up on the guy's shoulders and he starts raping him. First person, you got this pig mask in the face and it's just disturbing as fuck. Like, that unsettled me for a minute. Like, that's the first time I, a movie's done that. Like, I had to pause it, go outside, have a cigarette, and come back. But something about that first person point of view and being raped by a man in a pig mask just coming right at you. So that's probably the most disturbing part of the movie but the rest of it's pretty pretty brutal too you know stepping in some bear traps getting fingers chainsawed off playing with guts yeah it's not a very long movie I think it's only about an hour long so too long to be considered a short film a little too short to be a feature length you ask me but it's got the Quentin Tarantino stamp of approval if that means anything to you anyway this has been B-Money and that's my day five for 12 days of Sodom. Bye.